today we are in the heart of Malaysia, the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. And although countries like Thailand and Vietnam are known to have the best food in Southeast Asia, Malaysia is known as a melting pot of diverse cultures. And today we are venturing out to see if they are taking over as the next food capital of Southeast Asia. So we're starting out here at the Mansion Tea Stall, kind of a no frills hawker stall that's well known for some of the best Tay Tarek in the entire city as well as some Roddy Cani. Let's go check it out. One of the food items we are most excited for on this entire tour is to come down to the Mansion Tea Stall and try the Roddy Benjir special. What it is is it features two of the freshly made roti breads. It comes with a fish curry on top, a couple of soft boiled eggs, and it also comes with a side of some of the famous sambil chili sauce that's really popular throughout Indonesia and Malaysia here. Can't wait to try it out. These soft boiled eggs are nice and gooey. Gotta get that yolk in there, make it nice rich flavor. And then I won't mix too much of the sambal in because I'm not sure if it's too spicy for Jess. I gotta get a bite of all of it. Mm. It is very rich for sure. I'm not sure if it's the sambal or the curry, but it does have a bit of spice and kick to it for sure. And like I said, with that yolk, makes it nice, rich, creamy flavor. Gotta love it. I love chili, so this is absolutely amazing. It is very eggy. There's lots of egg, but I love a runny egg, so it's perfect. Now, I'm not one for spice, so I'm a little nervous. Wow, it's a creamy, definitely has like a breakfast taste to it with the egg in, it's delicious. Yeah, you can see why it's one of the most popular breakfast items here in Malaysia for sure. Mm. As they're cooking it, they have an assembly line and that fresh roti is delicious. Oh, that chili sauce definitely has a pang to it. <laughs> now on the side, we had to get some of the Itarek. The exact translation is a pulled tea. They pull the tea nice and tall to create that frothiness you see on the top. They mix it with a condensed evaporated milk, makes it nice and creamy. Delicious. Oh wow, it's very sweet. It has a beautiful tea flavor. If you like black tea, this definitely has it. Good like English breakfast tea, but it's very sweet. And it's very like silky. It's creamy, it's silky delicious though. I love how the tea is steeped for a long time. It really brings out a nice dark tea flavor. Really nice and refreshing too on such a hot day. <laughs> Must try when you're coming down to Kuala Lumpur. Stop off at the Manching Tea House and get yourself the Roddy Special. We're down at here at Brickfields, which is known for its delicious Indian cuisine. Yeah, and we actually just found a really great restaurant and we cannot wait to check it out. Let's go eat. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Wow, the service here is amazing for sure. Strongly recommend checking this place out if you're interested in trying these foods. Now we got, there's two types of rice, a traditional white rice, and then the Indian style rice, which he was saying is lower in carbohydrates, but higher in fiber. A chicken curry and a fish curry on the rices. And then we have a lamb curry. And then we've got the spicy chicken. And then we've got a little less spicier chicken, so it's <laughs> kind of on my side. But it's obviously more sauce and curry. It's hard to find anything that's not spicy when you try an Indian food, for sure. But oh, wow, this looks amazing. We've got a white radish. We've got kind of a in the pumpkin family. It's more watery pumpkin though, he was saying. And then a pumpkin masala. Really great spread we've got here for sure. Yeah. This looks amazing. So excited. So excited to try it. Let's dig yeah. in. Okay, I'm gonna jump into the lamb. I'm just gonna plop the lamb right in there. I got my delicious poppadom. Wow, it's definitely got a bit of a kick to it. The lamb is absolutely delicious. It's not overpowering. It's a really creamy. Oh, spices just wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in from the chicken now. Okay, he said this wasn't as spicy, but we'll see. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
reminds me of a bit of korma. Definitely not as spicy as that, the lamb one. It's got like a delicious creamy korma flavor. Love the chicken one, that is delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into the masala. Mm. It's a really mild pumpkin with a delicious, delicious creamy masala. Absolutely gorgeous that is, I love that. All right, so I'm obviously left with the spicy chicken, but that's okay, because that's what I like. It's got a bit of bones in it, so you gotta be careful. Mm. I love the flavor. Not too spicy, but I like my spice. It's a little spicy. Mm. Delicious. This is something supposed to be a vegetarian soup. Vegetarian soup? Something like uh, uh, what you say when you're taking some oily food, mm. spicy food, you can just drink this. And it'll wash away to your stomach. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. This is for normal banana leaf, they keep it. You want to wash it down with some of this vegetarian rasam? Cleanse the palate a little bit and wash those spices down. Mm. Really good. We're gonna try out that chicken curry. And then the fish curry. It's got a bunch of veggies and whatnot in there as well. Ooh, you know it. Loving this place. Oh, we just finished a fabulous meal that was so delicious. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit messy, but real great <laughs> flavors and amazing service. If you're ever in the Brickfields area, definitely check out Vizalatachi's. Amazing food, really even better service. Yeah. But we're on to the next place. Let's go. And right, now we've come down to Jalanalore, the biggest street food market in all of Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, and we are on the hunt for some Malaysian dishes, so let's go. She's got my screen, now this is great. Oh my god, this is great. Thank you so much. Ooh. All right. For our first Malay dish, we have nasi lemak, which is the national dish here in Malaysia. So of course it's criminal to not try it before we leave. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I am loving the color of this rice. It is bright green. It looks just phenomenal. They take the rice and they steam it in pandan leaves after they've soaked it in coconut milk. It comes with a side of cucumbers, some roasted peanuts, as well as some dehydrated anchovies there on the side, and a nice big roasted quarter leg chicken. Cannot wait to try this out, let's dig in. Try a little bit of everything. So we got some of the anchovies and the roasted peanuts in there as well. Now this one was also served with a hard boiled egg on the side. From what I was reading, nasi lemak is prepped and served with different dishes depending on where you get it. This one, it looks like it comes with a hard boiled egg, so I'll take a bit of that. I'll save just some. Ooh, you know, I gotta get some of that yolk though. And whatever this is, it might be that spicy sambal that we had earlier. I'll try it out. All right. So, we got a little bit of everything in there. It's not the spicy sambal. I'm not sure what that is. Mm, yeah, maybe it is. It's got a bit of a kick. Those anchovies are nice and salty. And you can't quite taste the coconut flavor. It was not as coconutty as I thought it would be. Never really had anchovies before. They're not bad. Add just a little bit of a saltiness and crunch to it all. Ooh, I love the crispy skin. That's like my favorite part of a chicken. Mm. Oh wow, that chicken is so juicy. I'm just gonna get in there. Wow, that chicken, it's so good. It's so crispy, but juicy on the inside. That's a bloody good roast chicken right there. Bloody good. Bloody good. All right, so Jess and I are big fans of our chicken satay. We didn't realize until we just came by this stand where it said Malaysian satay. Like, what's the difference between Indonesian satay and Malaysian satay. Well, I guess this one is a little less spicy and a little bit sweeter. Comes with more of a cumin flavor as well. Obviously, always gotta have that peanut sauce and those cucumbers. But we absolutely love our chicken satay, so we had to stop and try it out. Gotta dip it in that peanut butter sauce. Get a little bit of the onion on there, too. 
Oh, let's throw it back. It's got a bit of a smokiness to it too, I think. I think it's more like barbecued here, so it's like nice and smoky flavor. You gotta have the chicken satay when you're Southeast Asia, for sure. 10 sticks for just 16 ringgit. Can't go wrong with that. I think before I even let Jess dig in, I'll get one more. Mmm, <laughs> definitely sweeter. It's sweeter, smokier. Different spices on it for sure. It's got a completely different flavor from what you would get in Indonesia. Same peanut sauce, but the chicken is definitely prepped differently. And it's definitely smoked, and it's got a sweet sauce on it. Very good though. Which one do you prefer though? Mm. I think I like a little bit of spice, but this one's also really good. Very different. I'm very surprised. All right, so we were gonna look for Nasi Kandar, but we're starting to get a little bit full and we don't wanna get too full before we get into dessert because there's a couple things we had our eyes on, yeah. we've been looking forward to all night, and we finally just found one of them just up here, so let's go check it out. Is this that? Yeah. All right, so for our first dessert item, we got these Chinese fried pancakes known as Appam Pala. We were getting a little worried when we were walking up and down the market because we hadn't seen them, but down here on the far end, the buddy's got a stand where he's making them up, so we had to give them a try. Super happy that we found them. They got a real crunch to them. They're also known as like a peanut butter pancake. You can taste a bit of that peanut butter in there. And it's got like a nice caramelized fried banana slice in the middle as well. Super good. So you can also get these down at Chinatown of Peddling Street. That's where we originally sold them. So we were hoping we would be able to find them tonight here. They're a lot more airy. Yeah, they're more hollow than Yeah, ever. like there's a lot of space in between. Mm -hmm. Crispy crepe. Yeah. Good way to describe it. Mm -hmm. I get a hint of peanut less in it, but I'm a little bit disappointed. There isn't like filled with peanut mm -hmm. butter. Or banana or anything. It's very just a crispy crepe. Yeah. You get that little bit of banana, but it's not nearly as much as I was expecting. Mm. There you go. There you go. Great way to start dessert. Mm. But we ain't finished yet. Let's go. Let's move on. All right, so I've been really excited to try this one out. This is the Malacca Kendal. It's like a 900 year old recipe. And it's actually the Malacca Kendal bed of shaved ice. It comes with the green jellies, condensed cream on it as well. A little bit of sweet corn, and then they've just drizzled some of that brown sugar sauce right on top as well. Ooh, cannot wait to try this one. Look at that. Those green jellies, the sweet corn with the shaved ice. It's kind of like an ancient version of ice cream. Let's check it out. Wow, what a mixture of flavors. The jellies don't really have that much taste, but you really taste the sweet corn. And then that brown sugar just makes, just sweetens the whole thing right up. Like I said, I was so excited to try this. It just looks amazing. She just presses that ice, shaves it up right there for you. Puts it all in the bowl, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited to try this one as well. Oh wow, it's got almost like a, not a porridge flavor, it's... I can see why you say that though, because of the brown sugar. So it kind of gives you that sense of like an oat, oatmeal porridge. It's like a flavor, it's on tip of my tongue that I can't think of. It's very different. I can't pinpoint it. It's got like a breakfasty corn flavor to me. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah, I think just because of the corn and the brown sugar, it kind of gives you like a cereal feeling almost, especially with mm -hmm. that cream in it. It's almost like it's a cereal. Mm -hmm. But it's not. <laughs> it's so different from anything I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Really wow. good. And it's so bright and colorful with the green 
and the white condensed milk. This dessert is definitely a great way to finish up your dinner after eating the Chinese and the Malaysian food. Boom, it is so good. Well, you let us know, is Malaysia taking over as the food capital of Southeast Asia? That's the question we set out to answer with this food tour. And I gotta say, it is a real contender, that's for real sure. Real strong contender. Yeah, absolutely. So this was a great way to end off our time in Malaysia. Yeah. But we're headed out to Thailand next. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on that series. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.